Hey, welcome to Draft Academy. My name is Mike. In this tutorial, I want to talk to you guys about variables in Hexo. Variables are basically just values that uh, are stored about either the pages on your site or the site itself. And we can use those variables inside of our layouts to basically display all the information on our site uh, in a better way. And so I'm over here on this post.ejs layout. And this is the layout that's used by all of the posts on my website. And right now I have two posts. I have a.markdown and I have b.markdown. And both of these uh, files are able to be displayed. So I'm up here and I'm looking at this a file and you'll see that it's using this post.ejs file. And I can also go over to this B file and it's using the same exact uh, layout. So they're both using this layout. So how can we access the variables inside of the front matter of our pages in order to make these pages different? In other words, when I'm on the B page, I want this to tell me I'm on the B page. When I'm on the A page, I want it to tell me I'm on the A page. And we can actually access these front matter variables from inside this post layout. So I wanna show you how to do that. You want to type out this special syntax, so it's going to be open and closed, uh, greater than, less than signs, uh, percent signs, and then we want a hyphen right here. And inside here, we want to just type the name of the variable that we want to access. I want to access a variable that's on the page. So I'm going to type page, and then I want to type dot title. So I'm going to access the title of the page. And when we come over here and we refresh this page, you'll know that now, instead of just saying this is post, it says the title of the page. So if I go to A, now it's gonna say A instead of that. And what's cool is all I need to do is update this value inside the front matter, and it'll automatically update on the template. So in addition to accessing the title, we could also access, uh, for example, the page dot date. So we could print out the date and now we kind of have like this little um, layout, right? We can also access the content of these pages. So inside of this A file, I'll just put like, this is A's content. And then we can do the same thing for B. So we'll give B just some like default content. And inside of our post.ejs, the way that we access that is by using this special tag and it's going to be called page.content. So that's just going to give us all of the, the content inside of these files. And so you can see here that the content of the page shows up. So I basically what I did was I just built a little like blog template, right? So we have the title, the date, and then here's all the content for um, the blog set for that's on the blog. So we can use all of these different variables in order to access information about the front matter. You can also access information about other things. And I'm gonna head over here and I'm on this hexo.io forward slash docs forward slash variables page. And this is the a page that's on the hexo docs. And it basically just lists out all of the variables that you have access to um, by default. So if you look over here, we can access things like the site variable. So you could access all the posts in the site. Um, here's these page variables. So we use page.title. You can use all these other variables. Um, and there's some other ones down here specific to post. So what you want to do is head over to this variables page and kind of poke through it and see what variables you have access to. But in addition to those default variables, I could also create custom variables. So in my front matter, like in this A file, I could create an author variable and we can just set it equal to like me. And then in the B file, I could make another one. And let's say it's like someone else's name, like Steve or something. And then I can render this inside of my post file. So this is a completely custom variable and I can just access it using the same notation. And so now it'll give me the author depending on which page I'm on. So variables can be very useful and really you're, you're gonna wanna use them. That's how you access all of the information in the front matter of your pages. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to Draft Academy to be the first to know when we release new content. 
Also, we're always looking to improve, so if you have any constructive criticism or questions or anything, leave a comment below. Finally, if you're enjoying Draft Academy and you want to help us grow, head over to draftacademy.com forward slash contribute and invest in our future.